Hello, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Steve Liebrick, one of the Mass Product Specialists here at Blytheco, and I would like to show you one of the new and exciting features of Mass90 that give you the ability to easily interact and analyze data in real time. What you see on the screen before you is the Business Insights Explorer, the latest addition to the impressive array of business intelligence tools that are included with your Mass90 system. The screen is divided into four parts. The main grid displays the information you're focusing on, in this case, customers. The secondary grid displays information that relates to the record that is highlighted in the main grid. In this case, we're looking at customer sales history by period. If I would look, like to look at different information, I can select that in the third part of the screen, the navigation pane. For example, if I want to look at historical invoices, I could go ahead and click on that and my secondary grid changes to display those historical invoices. If I would like more information about those historical invoices, I can highlight them, right click, and drill into the preview. Now the historical invoices are in the main grid and the items that are on each of those invoices is displayed in the second grid. To go back to my original view, I can go ahead and click the back button just like you would in your internet browser. The information it, that is on the screen itself can be changed simply by dragging and dropping the different fields. If I wish to add some fields, I could right click and go down to column selection. Let's go ahead and add the date established up to our data set. The date on the screen can also be changed to, for example, group by different fields. In this case, let's group by division. I'll take that and drag it up to that grouping bar. And since we're grouping by that, having it in our data set is a little bit redundant. So I'll go ahead and drag that division off the screen, which will remove it from our set. If I wish to change any of the column headers, I can just go ahead and right click and collect column settings. And let's say I just want this to say balance. In addition to changing how the information is displayed, I can also change and filter what information is displayed by using the Filter Builder. Through here, I just click to add new conditions. For example, a filter on the outstanding balance that is greater than $10,000. I could also use the drop-down menu to select from the current options in that field. As you can see, the data in my main grid has now been reduced to just the records that meet that filter. If I need a reminder of exactly what my filter is, all I have to do is look to the bottom of the main grid to see what I'm filtering on. When outputting this information, we obviously can see it on the screen, but we can also print it out or, if we wish, export it to different programs such as Microsoft Excel. If I have put together a group of settings that I think I'd like to use in the future, I can go ahead and save those settings. I'll give it a title here of Collections and make it either a public or private setting and in the future I can go ahead and switch between these settings simply by using the drop-down. Even with all the features I've shown you today we are only scratching the surface of what can be done with Business Insights Explorer, the latest addition to the Mass90 accounting software.